Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Today in this video I'm going to be showing you Yuzu, a Nintendo Switch emulator and some of the new features it has, namely the fact that updates are now working in game. The build I'm using here is a Canary Build 996, I think we're currently on build 1000 at this point. Now Dark Lord Zack has been working on this. Now the first thing I'm going to say is uh, for me it's been a little bit temperamental and a little bit buggy. Uh, the most successful file type I've used or format if you want is NSP. Now you might not be familiar with the different file types but if we go into file and install file to NAND you'll see in the drop down that we have NCA Nintendo Content Archive NSP, Nintendo Submissions Package, and XCI, NX Cartridge Image. Now, to use any of these within Yuzu, you will need title key files, which would go into this file path here, which I'll include on screen. Unfortunately, I can't really say anything more than that. Next to working updates, we also have portable mode working for games like Super Mario Odyssey. Now, you basically go to emulation and configure, and here where it says enable docked mode, you will just untick it and say OK. And that put, puts you into portable or handheld mode. And you might want to test that just to see the changes that it has on your system or your experience. Now, as you can see here, I have update uh, 0.2.0 for Cave Story and update 0.3.0 for Mario Odyssey. So the updates are installed and working especially with, like I say, the NSP file type. If we go to where updates are stored, I'll put this file path on screen. I'm just gonna delete this folder, okay? And then restart Yuzu because once we open it again, what we'll notice is that the updates are gone because of course I want to show you the updates working. Now this is relatively simple in most cases, but like I say, this really is kind of proof of concept and it is a bit buggy, it does behave slightly strangely, at least in my experience, but I have got it to work in Super Mario Odyssey. Now, naturally in the future, I do expect this to improve and get better, and you'll see implementation of things like a DLC and whatnot. So all I'm gonna do is go to File, Install File to NAND. I'm gonna pick my Super Mario Odyssey update, and I'm just gonna install it. Now, it says failed to install. Uh, there was an error while attempting to install the provided file. It could have an incorrect format or missing metadata. Please double check your file and try again. Now, I've pretty much had this warning every time I've, I've tried to install any update with uh, NSP, um, NCA, anything like that. However, it does actually work. And what I'll do is I'll boot up Super Mario Odyssey and show you I'll speed up the loading here. For those of you curious about my on-screen system stats, I use MSI Afterburner with RiverTuner Statistics Server. So the update shows as successfully installed and working. And if we take the blurb straight from Nintendo, by the way, this was a free update for Super Mario Odyssey on the Switch. It says Balloon World, introducing Balloon World, a new mini game brought to you by none other than Luigi. You'll be able to play once you finish the main story. To get started, just find Luigi in each kingdom and talk to him. There are two ways to play Bloom World. In Hide It, you take a balloon and hide it for other players to find. In Find It, you search for balloons other players have hidden. Whether you're hiding balloons or finding them, your rank will go up based on your high score. The secret is to find the wildest hiding place you can in the shortest possible time. By the way, while you're playing Bloom World, the atmosphere will be a bit different for each kingdom. For example, it might be raining in New Donk City, or the sun might be setting in Tost Arena. Don't forget that your capturing skills and use of vehicles will play a big part in both hiding and seeking to the best of your ability. New outfits and snapshot mode filters. The outfits are sunshine shades and outfit, musician hat and outfit, night helmet and armor. The sunshine musician and night armor outfits have now been added and will be available in the shop after you've finished the main story. There are also two new snapshot mode filters, coin and neon. Try using them to capture all sorts of fun new moments. So there you have it, an early look at the first implementation of working updates. It's not perfect, but it's a fantastic start for now. Leave your ideas, thoughts and comments down below. Complaining Gamer social media links are also there. 
if you disliked the content, dislike. If you liked it, leave a like. And to stay up to date with all things emulation, subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one.